it's a whole new year of opportunities to be creative in photography. So let's get started. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do, and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Happy New Year. I hope you enjoyed whatever way you chose to celebrate coming into 2023. And for my first video of the year, I'm kind of easing myself in. Uh, I'm local. I've come up to the marina here, but I've come around to the part of it that you don't normally see on the, like the, the, the touristy bits. New Year is also a time to come up with your New Year resolutions and I always try to do some kind of creative New Year resolutions and this year is no different and I'll share those with you during the course of this video. This year I'm trying to be a little bit different because I want to make those res resolutions, re resolutions if I can say it, I want to make those resolutions more about other people than about me. More on that later. It's a bit too bright at the minute to do any of the shots that I've got in mind for my little walk around. Actually, on the way down here, I spotted a group of people playing, uh, playing the, the Spanish version of bowls, patank, something like that. I can never remember the name. I've seen it loads of times, but uh, this time I actually decided to stop and <laughs> take a couple of pictures. So uh, if any of those have come out okay, I'll show them to you now. I've got a couple of ideas for shots. Uh, one of them features this building behind me here. But I need the sun to go down a little bit lower first. So about those New Year's resolutions. Typically when I've done these in the past, I've done things about you know trying different kinds of photography, being more creative, visiting other places. This year I wanted to do something different and I've really only got one resolution this year although it kind of splits into two approaches. The resolution basically is to do more to support other creators. And as I said, that's going to split into kind of two elements. And the first element is I want to try to make sure that I'm including a bit more, I hate to use the word educational content, but stuff that's in the videos that helps people to understand more what I'm doing and if it works for me and they think it will work for them, that's great and they can try it. Now, I don't want to make this a purely educational channel because I know a lot of people who watch this are themselves very accomplished photographers in many cases, <laughs> much better than I am. <laughs> but nevertheless, I always think we can learn new things and we should always be striving to learn new things. So if I can pass on something that I've learned which is new for somebody, whether they are and a very experienced photographer or a beginner, that's great. And I want to try to make sure I'm doing more of that in 2023. I think the sun may have gone low enough now for me to get my first shot using this building. It's a rather an interesting shape. Now the important thing is gonna to be to make sure that that tower, the top of that tower is separate from the rest of the building. So it keeps the shape. It's gonna be a wide angle shot. I've gotta wait for people to move out of the way. I'm going to put auto bracketing on, probably about two stops either side. 
get my composition right. So as well as the gap, I need to make sure that the sun is being blocked by the building so it doesn't blow out. The exposure kind of in the middle there. People have moved out of the frame. So focus. Get my composition right. Quite a bit of sky. And shoot. One massively overexposed. One somewhat underexposed but plenty of highlight detail and one in the middle and I'll blend those later. The second part of my resolution uh, to do more to help and support other creators has to do with promotion, promoting other creators. Now I'm actually, you know, pretty good at, uh, you know, going on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, 500px, Flickr, Vero, and of course YouTube, and doing likes, shares, comments, that kind of thing. But I think there's a little bit more that I can do, and I've got to be honest, I've kind of been inspired because another YouTuber, Darren J. Spoonley, um, his end of year video was actually all about promoting the five vloggers that he recommended people watch in 2023. And I was very honored that he picked me as one of them, but it made me realize I could do more. I could definitely do more, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, now, I may not do whole videos on it, but, you know, look for things like, you know, end cards on the video promoting another YouTuber, you know, maybe a, uh, a link up in the to top corner here, or, you know, maybe just a mention. And of course, Darren J. Spoonley, excellent photographer, well worth having a watch, so there's a link to him up there now. And also, there'll be a link in the video description, so make sure you go and check him out, and, uh, like, share, and subscribe his channel. Sun's gonna be dipping down behind the buildings over there soon. And I quite fancy doing a shot along this little jetty with the boats out here. It's not the most picturesque jetty, but it should still make for a nice image. I am shooting handheld on all of these. I haven't brought a tripod with me or filters, so we'll see if we can do something. I need that sun to go down a bit lower. It's too, too bright, too harsh at the moment. Um, what I'm thinking of shooting is a vertical composition just as the sun dips down um, with the jetty coming in on the bottom, kind of from the left-hand side going across to the right. We'll have the buildings and the sun setting uh, kind of um, probably over near the middle of the scene. Uh, with the clouds up above. I think actually the sun will probably be over a bit towards the right of the scene. But we'll see how that works out. I think the cleanest image is gonna be having the jetty coming in literally right down the middle of the frame. Uh, that avoids having the, the stuff that's on the left-hand side of the scene over here. In the uh, in the scene, the sun's dipping down now. I'm using auto bracketing again because I want to uh, potentially blend them. Just keep shooting as the sun dips down.
Okay, I am heading for home now. My first photo shoot of the new year is done and I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, next week's video I will be out somewhere new, exploring a different location and of course hopefully doing some photography there. So I hope you'll join me for that, but I also hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to share with me your photographic or creative New Year's resolutions, I'd love to hear them. Leave them in the comments. And on that note, of course, like, shares and comments are all really appreciated. If you've enjoyed this video and you're new here and you want to see more of my stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So thank you very much. And until the next video. Bye.